So I purchased an open box. Yeah, Best Buy inspected. Um, so I got a hold of one, ordered it online. Still was expensive. Oh, and by the way, I moved out and I am living in a new studio. Yeah, wife wasn't too happy with me. Ah, you're a monster! the light to me don't fill your head with things and think you're free creeping in the dark waiting for you you won't like what you see yeah i feel like a monster and i'm just in a monster What the hell is wrong with me? We'll leave that for another day. Guys, make no mistake about the title. Absolutely 100%. I have no idea what the hell I'm doing when it comes to Mac. Now, if you were to ask me about Windows, well, of course. If you were to ask me about Android, absolutely. When it comes to Apple, mind blown. I don't get it. I really don't. There's so many different tips and tricks to Mac versus Windows. Now, let's get something straight right off the bat. I am still a Samsung Android guy. I do tons of reviews on earbuds and headphones and believe me, I don't wanna have to connect those to an Apple device. Oh, hell no. So that being said, I guess I should introduce myself. My name is Brandon No D. That's right, there's absolutely no D in this name. And I love doing tech reviews of the latest and greatest, including iMac Pro. I would have never thought I would ever say those words out of my mouth. Oh, and for the ones that are going to leave me comments, yes, I did spec out a bigger gaming computer and it was just outrageous on the price for what I want to be able to do with 4K and possibly 6K footage. This iMac Pro is definitely more geared towards the creators than the gamers, okay? And I'm not a gamer anymore. I used to game a lot uh, on the PC back there, but I merely just don't have the time. Now, I'm sure most of you that have dropped on by have probably, most likely, have seen almost all of the videos out there and there are a ton believe me because i was one of them watching i mean hell we're not even going to call it a review today we're not reviewing this product we're going to talk about this product and why i purchased it however before we dive into all the reasons i'm going to be using an imac do you like what you've seen so far on this channel because if you do don't just do me a favor, do yourselves a favor. Hit that subscribe button, hit the bell, hit all to be notified in all the crazy content that I provide. And I'll make a promise to you guys right here, right now to deliver you excellent quality. As you can see behind me and in front of you, but above all, honest reviews. Oh wait, we're not doing a review today. I guess I'm already being dishonest. But that folks is how I like to roll. So as far as what I ordered from Best Buy was in fact an open box. So really in the intro where I did the unboxing, that was Brandon's spin on the unboxing. Cause if you noticed, it was pretty damn 
new. I mean, everything was still wrapped up really nice and tight. This system has been certified and inspected and got the okay by Best Buy. What did it save me? Uh, about 150 bucks, okay? Nothing to brag about, but better than retail price. And because I'm an elite member, I'm able to get the Apple Care even on an open box, so I'm covered. So what you actually get with your purchase is some paperwork, obviously, nothing to brag about, don't even need it, but you do get stickers. And uh, yeah, there's uh, usually two, uh, one of them I stuck on something already. Then you get this mammoth block to be able to charge this up. And I really dig the fact you can fold these in, makes it very portable, throw it in a backpack or a carrying case, very nice. Then you have your long braided cable, USB-C to a MagSafe. They brought the MagSafe back. Everybody's excited about that. Check this out. This thing is super strong. Look at that. I can pull this thing across the desk without it coming out. So very nice that they brought that back. Now, of course, I didn't miss it because I've never had a Mac before, but for all you Mac users, I heard you're pretty happy about that and I'm digging it. Loving the size of the trackpad and the two finger movement. And I'm learning about all that stuff. We're gonna get further into this system down the road and I'm gonna show you how I hook everything up to my two monitors the keyboard and the mouse. Because what I basically want it to do is to have the portability when I'm out in the field. And then when I come home, I wanna be able to dock it and be able to use both monitors. I have a 34 inch ultra wide 4K, a 28 inch Asus gaming monitor, and a Corsair RGB mechanical keyboard. So I wanna be able to use the mouse, the keyboard, and the two monitors and use the engine of the iMac. And so far so good, I've got it all hooked up, but we're not gonna get into that tonight. Um, I do say tonight because uh, yeah, it's dark out already. It, this video has not taken me all day, believe me. It just gets dark earlier now because of time change. Um, so for any of you that don't have the time change, I'm jealous. So for all the nerdy people out there, let me tell you what the specs are with this system. So you can either get the M1 Pro chip or the Pro Max, and I chose the Pro Max, which has 10 core CPU with eight performance cores and two efficiency cores, 32 core GPU, 16 core neural engine with 400 gigabytes S memory bandwidth. So yes, we have an outstanding chip on board to be able to handle pretty much anything I throw at. Crazy. What would that be, you may ask? Hardware accelerated H.264, HEVC ProRes and ProRes RAW video decode engine, two video encode engines, two ProRes encode and decode engines. <laughs> what does that all mean to a simple guy like me? That's a fast son of a... <laughs> Why does this display look so good and pop? Because it's using the Liquid Retina XDR display. It's amazing. The display on this speaks so many volumes on a laptop. Like I can't even explain it to you guys. It looks outstanding. I mean, come on, it's got 1 billion colors, wide color P3 and true tone technology. Awesome for photographers using Photoshop, videographers like myself, getting the true colors out of this makes color grading absolutely flawless. Oh, and not to mention, how the hell could I forget the best part? This laptop is by far the best I have ever listened to. And you guys know how laptops usually sound. Yeah, they suck. Not this one. Check this out. Believe me, if you were in this room right now, it's incredible. Now, as far as the memory on this, you can get either 16 gigabytes, 32, or 64. I shot for the middle and went with 32. That should be more than plenty for what I do. You'll be able to get up to 21 hours 
They say Apple TV apps, movies, playback, like YouTube, Netflix, things like that, are up to 14 hours wireless on the web. So that's searching all the web. 100 watt hour lithium polymer battery, 140 watt USB-C power adapter, USB-C to MagSafe 3 cable, like we talked about earlier. Storage starts at 512 gigs, all the way up to eight terabytes. And man, let me tell you, the more you put on, ho, oh, shoots that price up like you wouldn't believe. I stuck with the one terabyte. I really wanted two. Two would have been perfect, but one's gonna be good enough. Now, as far as the ports go, full-size SD card, not a mini. That is so welcoming. I mean, for any creator, photographer, stick it right in there, on the go, makes it so much better. You get a three and a half millimeter headphone jack, MagSafe three port, three Thunderbolt four ports, that's right, four. Thunderbolts four up to 40 gigabytes, USB four up to 40 gigabytes as well. Whew, what a mouthful. Guys, this system is loaded and just ready to battle anything you throw at it. So that being said, that's it for the video right now. I'm still learning, and like I said, I'm getting it set up for editing in Premiere Pro. They have the update, so any of you guys are using Premiere Pro, you'll have no problems. I have not had any hiccups yet. I did say yet, but uh, yes, uh, I still need to get more familiar with Mac, and as I do, um, we'll get some more videos out, but right now, we have other things coming your way. We have earphones. We have some pretty interesting stuff, and uh, I'm so happy to be able to create it on something like this. Until then, guys. Oh, wait. Wait a minute. Wait, wait. Do I do a fortune cookie? I only do... I usually do fortune cookies on reviews. Ah, hell with it. Let's do one on something simple as just talking to you. What could the fortune possibly be. Oh, oh, getting crumbs on the new system. Oh, I don't like that. No, 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 no. Success comes with self-acceptance. I accept my success. Huh. Yeah. Heck yeah. Now, if you've stuck with me this long in the video, I commend you, and I also think you need help, but I'm no judge. <laughs> Not at all. Uh, could you do me a huge favor? Would you like and share this video as it helps the channel grow tremendously? We've already moved on past 13,500. Thank you to each and every one of you. I love you all. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in my next video.